as we're talking about uh, charitable, y- you talk about the um, about uh, life. Sorry, life education. Life education. I wanted you to, to ask you a little bit about it, or just if you could tell us a little bit about it. Well, life education. Uh, I came across it in in Australia. Um, a, a doctor friend of mine. Because I, I was, I was, because we we were finishing the Brothers in Arms tour, and I and I, I wanted wanted a project or two to sort of keep me occupied apart from music, just to just to do something different. And this friend of mine said, "Well, you meet should meet Ned uh, Ted Noffs because he he wants to get this uh, life education thing uh, in, over to England as well." And I said, "Well, what's life education?" He said, "Well, go and talk to Ted." And and essentially, what it does is it it hopefully prepares young people as young as young as five from the perils of, you know, what's out there, you know, with the, with the, all the stuff that can, you know, upset you, you know, like smoking, drinking and drugs and whatever else and not eating properly. And so life, it was really teaching, teaching young children about the kind of life that you, you possibly should have, as opposed to the kind of life that you might end up with. And, uh, Ted Noss formed this, this, this thing called the Wayside Chapel in Sydney in, in Australia because he was just fed up with picking uh, young people off the street, either from drug or alcohol abuse, and getting them into the uh, chapel and you know, sorting them out. And so he devised this program of education, quite simple, really, just showing kids the dangers of drug and alcohol abuse, which then went on into saying, well, if you eat these things, they're not so good for you. But if you eat these things, it's better for you. So it's common sense, really. And Australia had one of these, what they call classrooms, in every single school in Australia at that time. It's where you went for a lesson every, <coughs> every week or every month. And you were taught about the things that you were good for you and weren't good for you. So I basically brought it over to um, the UK Funnily enough, with the help of Prince Charles, who'd also met Ted Noffs, and he was very keen to get it uh, going. And so we had various conversations about how best to do it and ended up with a a program of mobile classrooms that went round schools and um, taught these kids how to look after themselves, basically. Um, And it's still going, still going strong today. I, I think we started with one one of these mobile things and mobile classrooms and now we've got about 150 of them. So. That's great. Yeah. To know it's still in existence after, you know, all these years. Yes. It's very rewarding, yes. I think. Yes, it's got absorbed into another charity called Quorum, which is an adoption charity for children. So mm-hmm. they 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 saw it and said, you know, can we immerse this yours into ours but keep its its kudos the same? And I and I we, yes, and I, th- I thought it was a good idea. So that, that's what they did. 